Matthew Bible, Summary to Chapter 14 Lot is taken prisoner. The victory of Abram of the Sodomites. Lot is delivered by Abram. Melchizedek offereth gifts unto Abram. Abram payeth tithes unto Melchizedek. Abram holdeth nothing of the king of Sodom's goods. The fourteenth chapter. And it chanced within a while that Amraphel, king of Senear, Arioch, king of Elisar, Kedorlaomor, king of Elam, and Kedale, king of the nations, made war with Bera, king of Sodome, and with Birsa, king of Gomorrah, and with Seneab, king of Adama, and with Semeabar, king of Zeboam, and with the king of Bela, which Bela is called Zoar. All these came together unto the vale of Siddim, which is now the Salt Sea. Twelve years were they subject to King Kedorlaomor, and in the thirteenth year rebelled. Therefore, in the fourteenth year came Kedorlaomor and the kings that were with him, and smote the Raphaims in Astaroth, Karnaim, and the Susims in Am, and the Emims in Sabe Kariataim, and the Orims in their own mount Seir, unto the plain of Faran, which bordereth upon the wilderness. And then turned they, and came to the well of judgment, which is Cades, and smote all the country of the Amalekites, and also the Amorites that dwell in Azazon Tamar. Then went out the king of Sodome, and the king of Gomorrah, and the king of Adama, and the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, now called Zoar, and set them men in array to fight with them in the vale of Siddim, that is to say, with Kedorlaomor, the king of Elam, and with Kidael, the king of the nations, and with Amraphel, king of Senear, and with Arioch, king of Elisar, four kings against five. And that vale of Siddim was full of slime pits. And the kings of Sodome and Gomorrah fled and fell there. And the residue fled to the mountains. And they took all the goods of Sodome and Gomorrah and all their victuals, and went their way. And they took Lot also, Abram's brother's son, and his goods, for he dwelled at Sodome, and departed. Then came one that had escaped, and told Abram the Hebrew which dwelled in the oak grove of Mamre the Amorite, brother of Eskol, and Anair, which were confederate with Abram. When Abram heard that his brother was taken, he harnessed his servants born in his own house, three hundred and eighteen, and followed till they came at Dan, and set himself and his servants in array, and fell upon them by night, and smote them, and chased them away unto Oba, which lieth on the left hand of Damascus, and brought again all the goods, and also his brother Lot, and his goods, the woman also, and the people. And as he returned again from the slaughter of Kedorlaomor, and of the kings that were with him, then came the king of Sodome to meet him in the vale of Sabe, 
which now is called Kingsdale. Then Melchizedek, king of Solon, brought forth bread and wine, and he being the priest of the Most Highest God, blessed him, saying, Blessed be Abram unto the Most Highest God, possessor of heaven and earth, and blessed be God the Most Highest, which hath delivered thine enemies into, thine ha into thy hands. And Abraham gave him tithes of all. Then said the king of Sodom unto Abram, Give me the souls, and take the goods to thyself. And Abram answered the king of Sodom, I lift up my hand unto the Lord God, most high possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take of all that is thine so much as a thread or a shoe latchet, lest thou shouldest say, I have made Abram rich. Save only that which the young men have eaten, and the parts of the men which went with me, Anair, Eskol, and Mamre, let them take their parts. <laughs>